My late best friend and I knew each other since we were little. We were next door neighbors and always played together. We even went to the same kindergarten, primary school and middle slash high school together. One day during our sophomore year, we started talking about how most of our classmates had started dating. We obviously weren't okay with that and decided get one up on all of them by getting married. As a joke I made her a fake ring and she gave me her scrunchie. A few weeks later, a drunk driver hit her. She sustained multiple injuries and was in the IQ for two months. The doctor told her family that her survival chances are slim. In the only time I talked to her before she died, she made me promise to always visit her on our wedding anniversary and to wear her scrunchie during the visit. Four years ago, when I started dating my girlfriend I told her about it and asked if she was okay with it. She commented about how sweet and nice the tradition was and told me she was perfectly fine with it. Today was the 10th anniversary and I took the day off. Before my girlfriend went to work she told me it's time to put this tradition to rest and move on because it was starting to get pathetic that I still wear a dead girl scrunchie to celebrate a fake marriage that we had 10 years ago. I was furious at her comments because she wasn't just a dead girl. She was my best friend and like a sister to me. We grew up and did everything together. I told my girlfriend a long time ago that we never had a sexual or romantic relationship and that our wedding was just a joke. It's not like I talk about her or keep her photos around the house or anything similar. The only times I've talked about her to my girlfriend is when I told her if she was okay with the tradition or if she asked me about her. When I told her that I'll keep honoring my best friend's dying wish, even if it made her uncomfortable, she left for work angry at me and hasn't came back home yet. NTA but if she's been fine up until now then maybe she's upset about something else? Like there's been a feeling that the relationship has fallen into complacency, so she's lashed out at a display of you showing something else as being meaningful? After 4 years she might be annoyed that he's still honoring a fake marriage without giving her the commitment of a real one with her. I wonder if she's reaching a point where she wants to get married and is feeling resentful. Edit, I'm not condoning her behavior at all. If this is her reasoning then she needs to have a mature discussion rather than being underhanded. I was just speculating on her behavior. NTA. There are valid reasons this might have suddenly started to make her more uncomfortable. You've been together for years, and maybe the reality of you having another wedding anniversary, even if you were to get married is hitting her. I don't know if you plan on getting married, or if there's any tension around the subject, but I can see how her feelings could have changed. However, dealing with your discomfort by calling your partner pathetic is unacceptable in my opinion. It's such a demeaning term. Instead of communicating how she felt and exploring why she had started feeling that way, she jumped to the conclusion that you must be doing something wrong and therefore she should belittle you into stopping. Actually what it probably is, beginning of the relationship, you're not going to say hey this is weird, stop that. Years later, the relationship gets serious, boundaries get laid out not so cool about it now. Has anyone considered that she has asked him about marriage and he just hasn't included it in the post? We only get limited info and it is a very real possibility she has talked to him about it and he shut her down. He commented on another post that they want to get married but she wants to wait until she gets her master's degree. I think there's a lot of information about your relationship with your girlfriend that you are omitting. The post is structured in a self-serving, non-objective way such that there is next to zero chance for anyone to say it. Uh, tell us about whether your girlfriend is unhappy with you for any reason, your unwillingness to get married, your devotion to this ritual, but not to anything that she views as important, your quickness to anger or sensitivity when talking about your dead friend or the ritual. A widower should respect his dead wife, but also his new wife. A 40 or E for your situation. Info, have you and your girlfriend discussed marriage in the future? I feel like some important details of your relationship are missing. Info, does your GF want to get married and you don't? We both want to get married. We've talked about it many times before. However she wants to hold off any talks about the engagement until she gets her master's degree. If she's been fine with it till now I gotta assume you've done something to make her resent it. 
Info, do you put this much effort into anniversaries with your girlfriend? Take the day off respect her wishes make traditions? Also you've been together 4 years is she herself expecting a wedding anniversary and is perhaps jealous? Does she see it as you being committed to your friend but not her? She sucks for the way she worded it, you should let her know that hurt you, but you also need to sit down and have this conversation with her. Esh. You guys have been together long enough that you should really be discussing your own plans to get married, but it seems like you aren't discussing it while still honoring a fake marriage you had with a female friend a decade ago. I can see why your GF is frustrated if you won't even discuss getting engaged but keep this tradition. I still think she could have approached it better, though. And to all the people saying, how can someone be jealous of the dead? Very easily, because people tend to canonize the dead in their memory. They forget all about anything bad, and remember their loved one as this perfect person who no one alive will ever compare to. They have to see their current friends or significant other, warts and all, every day, but the deceased person gets to stay perfect forever. It can start to feel impossible to compete with someone who can literally do no wrong. NTA, and your girlfriend is being an absolute asshole. Don't feel bad about honoring your friend how you want to honor her, don't doubt how you feel at all, and if your girlfriend can't understand that that's her problem. I hope the support of Reddit will help you realize that you have done nothing wrong. Indeed. Please keep that scrunchie somewhere safe where your GF can't find it and toss it away. You read some really nasty things on this sub. NTA. NTA. Your girlfriend is being wildly insensitive and dismissive of a tribute you've made to your friend for a decade. That said, a time may come in your life where visiting your friend may not be possible, and that's okay. Your friend would have wanted you to have a, not a, wedding should you ever want one, to move to a place that makes you happy, to take a bucket list trip that happens to overlap your anniversary. If you decide to carry the tradition for the rest of forever, that's amazing. And if you don't, and you honor your friend's memory in some other way, even just by living your fullest and most wonderful life, that's amazing too. If your GF doesn't apologize profusely and sincerely, she's probably not part of your fullest and most wonderful life. I love how you phrase this. NTA, one of my best friends killed himself almost 10 years ago now, and every year in his anniversary myself and many of his other friends gathered to release balloons in memorial. For the first few years there were about 50 of us who showed up to do this. Last year there was only 3. Even if I'm the only one, I will visit the same spot and release a balloon every year until I die and anyone who doesn't like it will be rudely and firmly removed from my life. She lives on in your memory and always will, so long as you let her. I love the sentiment, but please consider a way of remembering your friend that doesn't include balloon release. Deflated balloon plastic is not a good thing for wildlife. Maybe she's ready for marriage. What in the Nicholas Sparks? Info, do you take days off to make important milestones with her? Are you prioritizing your relationship with a living, breathing person that you presumably care about as much as your deceased childhood friend? And I understand, grief anniversaries are hard. I'm always wrecked on my mom's birthday. She's probably pissed you've not moved past girlfriend after 10 years. Consider making a move. Info, do you always take that day off? Do you ever take the day off to spend time with your girlfriend? NTA, but I totally get the girlfriend's point of view. She probably knew that you would be upset if she said right from the start that she was uncomfortable with that. Or maybe she regretted her decision to say that it was okay and has been holding back on this feeling for years now. I meant gl I'd be pretty upset if my bf was honoring a fake joke wedding every year and being that insistent on it, but that's just me and my boundaries. Your best bet is talking it out and try to understand what made her upset, seemingly all of the sudden. Maybe try to reverse the roles in your head and ask yourself honestly if you'd be okay with that if it was the other way around. Info, what do you do for you and your GF relationship anniversary every year? Info, what do you for year anniversary? What does she do for it? Do you put in more effort into this fake anniversary than your real anniversary? Do you obsess over this girl without realizing it? The way it sounds is there's more to this story than there's being said. 
I'm on the fence here, so I'm not going to reply about if you are or aren't. However, it honestly seems like you were in love with your best friend and you refused to put that here because you don't want to look bad. You did ask her if she was okay with it and she said that she thought it was very sweet and she was perfectly fine with it. So honestly, the GF doesn't have a leg to stand on. Maybe she knows it wasn't just a best friend that you were in love with her and that's why it bothers her now and you all been together so long and talk about a fake wedding every year when she probably is waiting for you to actually propose to her. I feel like you are leaving Alot out. I'm sorry for your loss though. Info, what would happen if you moved away? Would you make the hours drive or fly every year just to honor your tradition? If you would then it seems to me your commitment to this is not healthy. I could understand your girlfriend thinking that you will always put your fake wedding anniversary first. If you wouldn't then I don't see much of a problem. If you don't live too far, taking a single day from a year to honor your friendship is okay to do. If I'm able to I always try to honor her wish. If the circumstances doesn't allow it, or if there's an emergency or anything else that takes precedent I would try to go on another time, if I have the means. If I don't then I'll try something else instead. But since I can currently manage to visit her for a few hours a year in the day she wished I'd like to keep doing that. Info, is there a chance your GF might be feeling like she's not a priority to you, not to comparison with you best friend, but life in general? Have you been too busy to pay attention to her and her wishes of how she wanted to spend the days, holidays, or anniversaries? Nah, there's something more going on if she was fine with it in the past till today. What do you do on your anniversary with her? Maybe you are doing more things in the anniversary of the fake wedding than in the anniversary with your girlfriend. Maybe she thinks you are not going to marry someone else because you are married to your friends. NTA and your GF being fine with it until now and even calling it sweet makes me think that this is not about the tradition with your best friend. I think it's about you celebrating a wedding anniversary while she may be thinking about getting married herself. You're dating for 4 years. Have you talked about getting married? Did she say that's something she wanted? Because if she does want to get married and you're dating for 4 years and you seem to be in your late 20s, if the accident happened 10 years ago then I can see why she's hurt that you're celebrating your wedding to another girl without wanting to get married to her.